Who's from the Benjamin Britten School, Lowestoft? Yeah. Great, OK, so you're the Gillsborough School, Northampton? Yeah. OK, come on, on, on you get as quick as you can. Some up, some down. Come on, hurry up. What are you waiting for? Absolutely. the time to join us. Tricky stuff time. There's either too much of it or not enough. But when it gets out of hand, things can get very serious indeed. That's when they call for me. Professor McNulty's the name. And with my apprentice TJ, it's our job to prevent bits of history from leaking through the very structure of space-time itself. Now, the damage is caused by time vandals, and we're out to stop them. Coming along for the ride? Yes, I thought you would. Right, come along, everybody off. <clears throat> no time to spare. This is a dirty great vortex right across our path. Ah, oh, well, that's strange. No signs of immediate decay. Well, what does that mean? Well, surely, Prof, that's a good thing, isn't it? Well, yes and no, TJ. The good news is that the vortex is fresh, so that we'll have more than the usual amount of time to complete our task. The bad news is that it's so fresh that I suspect that one of the vandals that have caused it is still in the vicinity. Ah, my temporal indicator indicates that through the vortex we've interfaced with the year 1925. Right, concentrate on Buster's main scanner and let's learn the worst. <laughs> Good day to you. I won't say welcome because you're not. I'm Brigadier General Sir Rodney Hawkes Taylor, and you, of course, are my only surviving relatives. And you look like a bunch of vultures to me, I must say. Well, we've never met before, and if I had my way, we never would. Still, we'd better get it over with. Oh, come on, introduce yourselves. Great Uncle Rodney, you're just as I imagined you. You don't know what a thrill it is to know that the world's most famous big game hunter is actually a relative oh, of cut one. the cackle, girl, and say who you are. Why, uh, I'm your niece, Lady Daphne Hawkes Taylor, of course, and I just want Enough to know... Enough said, I'm... Missy. Who's the pink-faced popinjay on your left? <coughs> Steady on, sir. I say there's no need for full ceremony amongst family, but this is taking things a pinch too far. The Honourable Patrick Hawkes Taylor, at your service. Daff's my cousin, in case you're unclear on the connection. <laughs> it's as clear as a tiger's eye. And you, sir? Yes, yes, you in the fancy dress. Which part of the Vulture Clan are you? Brewster Hawks, Chicago, Illinois, United States of America. And let me just say, I don't take no uh, offence at your words. I'm a plain-talking man myself. And this is my dear wife, Phoebe. I'm delighted to meet you, Your Lordship. Well, pardon me, but when I first learned that my dear Brewster was actually related to the English aristocracy, why, I couldn't Humbug, wait... Humbug, madam, I'm a baronet, not a belted earl. So I don't suppose to you it makes much difference, does it? Hm. You, sir. You must be the writer, chappy. What's your name? Uh, Peregrine Taylor, sir. A distant cousin and struggling writer of fictional matter. Rubbish! You invented that bulldog what's-his-name character? Uh, bulldog Bennett, that's it. You're probably richer than I am. And nearly as mad. <laughs> anyway, you can all shut up now. It wasn't my idea to bring you here. It was my lawyers who insisted. One of you has got to be my heir for the sake of the estate and its workers. Now, there's no point bullying me up because I don't have to decide. I couldn't care less, any case. Next few days, these legal chappies will interview you all and make up their minds. Now, I can't tell you what the blighters look like, 
but they will have letters of attorney to show you, so you know it's pucker to answer their questions. And then you can all push off until I'm dead, which <coughs> apparently won't be long. And now I'm going to push off too. Good day to you. <laughs> this looks like a tough one, Prof. Yes, TJ. Made even tougher because I strongly suspect that one of the happy family group is a rank imposter from the 22nd century. The actual time vandal. Precisely, TJ. A time-tampering god player in person. Now, this evil cult believes there are two separate strands to history. Inconsequential Prof. history and co... Yes? What this lot need to know is that these people are meddling and that their activities are dangerous. Quite right, TJ. Getting a little carried away. So, uh, would you like to introduce the teams? Right. Well, in red, we've got the Gillsborough School from Northampton. Their runners in the field are Sally and Andrew. Mm -hmm. Their leader in the red camera helmet is... Richard. And their controller on maps and scanners is Emily. Excellent. Right, now the yellow team are from the Benjamin Britten High School in Lowestoft. Mm -hmm. Their runners in the field are Martin and Neil. Their leader in the yellow camera helmet is... Sam. And their controller upstairs in Buster is Mandy. Good, and welcome to you all. Right, red team. Your mission is to track down one of these. It's a Vandal's time capsule. Now, don't worry... It's completely harmless because it's been neutralised by Buster's equipment. But the one that is causing the vortex is extremely dangerous. Now, I want you to find it and bring it back to me here. TJ. Right, Prof. Yellows, your mission is every bit as vital. What you've got to do is to learn the identity of the Vandals and to find out where they've hidden their time machine. Now, the only way to destroy it is with the Paradox gun. There's one aboard Buster. The only thing is it's really heavy, so your best bet is to track down the Vandal's means of transport and then to come back for it. Now listen, Time Busters. If we can both succeed in these missions, we can not only close the Vortex down and save a slice of history, but we can maroon the Time Vandal in the year 1925, where he or she can do no further damage. Right, TJ, take the controllers to their maps and scanners while I kick off. Right. Red leader, turn on your eye camera and check communications to your controller. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Right, same with you, yellows. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Now, you've got to find those legal documents that Sir Rodney mentioned before you start interviewing your suspects. Prof? Yes, TJ. I've sent in the probes you've asked for, Prof, and we can confirm that there are some letters in the library tied with red ribbon. There's some writing on the front, but the remote eye cams can't quite make it out. Good. Now, one last point. Until you have those documents, you are liable to be approached and arrested and thrown off the estate. So, mission running. Time busters. Go! Go, 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 go! They found a door. Brilliant. OK. Where Tell them to be careful. Be careful! Here we are. Right, what, what have they got? Wait, there's, there's some over there. What have you got? What no, does it say? Them. What does it say? Oh, yeah, they got some stuff around them. Tell them to read. What does it say on them? What does it say? Read it. Uh, in the Kenya Jane Supreme Court York Criminal State Division, State Johnson, Smith and Medinga. That's that doesn't cool. sound right. Yeah. We, no, need, something, we, we right. need something with, is, with the old guy's that name on. You need something with the old guy's name on, the brigadier's name. Oh, this what is over here? Wait, no, open, them, quick, open them, open them. What do they, what do they say what on the front? What do they say on the front? Yeah, well, this one's a statement of Irene Briggs. That's not right. We've got another one here. No, to that's got to have the Brigadier's yeah. name yeah. on it. Brigadier General Sir Rodney Hawkes. Brilliant. Hawks, that's that's brilliant. That's the one. Another one. Is, is there another one? Uh, yeah, there's another. Yeah, just look for the library. Well, I don't know where it is. Just, just go over there. Just tell them to have a good look round. Just have a good look round, right? Right. We've just got to have a look round. Come on. Look in all the rooms. Here it is. Oh, well done. You found it. Ah, now the yellow team are there already. 
Ask them whether they found oh, they have. They found it. We've got some documents. Uh huh. Tell them to read out the names that they've got on their document. Read out the names you've got on it. Yep. This is to empower Messrs. Dobson, Dobson and Partners, or their notarised representatives, to interview the following persons upon my behalf and ascertain their suitability as sober and proper persons to inherit the some Western estate. Then Lady Dane Daphne Hawkes Taylor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Phoebe Brewster Hawks and Peregrine Taylor. What's in our letter, Mandy? Get Sam to read it to us. Sam, can you read us the letter, please? That says the Honourable Patrick Hawks Taylor, Mr. Brewster Hawks, and Peregrine Taylor. Signed Brigadier General Sir Rodney Hawks Taylor, Bart. Because we want to know who we're going to find first to talk to. Well, the first on the list is Patrick Hawks Taylor. Do they know who that is? The first on. Do they know who that is? Do you know who Patrick Hawks Taylor is? He's that sort of rich guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's the, the writer. Yeah. No, no, he's not. no, no. He's no, the cousin no. of the niece. Cousin of the niece. That's the sort right. Of Ask them where, they, where we might oh, find yeah. him. Do you know oh, where we might oh. find him? He could be at sales because he had a riding crop with him. So in the stables, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> What's the first <laughs> name? You have to find Daphne, find, um, yeah? Daphne. Lady Daphne, Daphne Hawks. Does, Daphne Hawks. Like? Right, yeah. she wears a cream dress. Yeah. Uh -huh. And she's got short hair and she's got wrinkly cream tights. Well, where, where she well can to... you see anyone around that looks like that? Just look around. Just you just have around. to look. Yeah, we've... Uh, just just hang around. on. Where? In the, in the gardens? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah in the gardens. Can you see anyone? Look. Should be look. in the gardens. We can't see her. Well, hang on a minute, because we can go to Buster's map scanner. Wait, just tell stop them to a minute. On a stop a minute. Look, look about. Yeah. Look about. What do they say? Yes. Tell them that I see that on the scanner there's movement by the maze. By the maze. Let's have a look at the maps. Right, now we're coming round here at the moment. Talk to the rest of the team. Find out where you're going. Oh, no, damn it. Well, hang on. Is it's it not true? this way then, Neil, because we came here before, didn't we? <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> yeah, we're there, we're there. Oh, they're there. brilliant. They're right, there. get into the stables. Get into the stables. Yeah, we're at the Find stables. Patrick. Oh, Find the Patrick. Find Patrick. Look in all the stables. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Find Patrick Hawks Taylor. Patrick Hawks Taylor. Look in the stables. Go in that one, because he could be in there. Patrick. Patrick. Oh, Patrick. Oh, brilliant. At uh, last. Oh, excuse me, Patrick. Uh, it's a power of attorney. Honourable. Honourable, sir. Patrick Hawkes Taylor. Excuse me. I'd like to read power of attorney. What should we ask him, Andy? Who are you talking to? Uh, someone in here. Don't worry. Someone in here? Yes. Read this, please. Oh, right. um, 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 can we ask him, Mandy? We want to know about the rest of the family. Ask him about the rest of his family. Right. Pardon? Who's he talking to? Oh, That's right. We're not part. We're not from this part of the country, so it's different sort I of see. stuff. Yeah. I say these are dashed wonderful birds. Yeah. Uh, Who's yes. your tailor? Uh, Why we don't can you talk to me. Who's your tailor? Uh, we don't uh, know. He's from London. Uh, we oh. can ask any of these. Savile Row, I take. Yes. We can. Like excuse yellow. me, excuse me, Pat. Oh, Honourable. Yes. We can ask these people any questions we like, uh, so we can choose. Yes, this yeah. is me, isn't it? Yes. Honourable Patrick Hawke, that's me, yes. Yes. Lovely. We'd like to know about the rest of the family. You know, your niece, the uncle, Peregrine, Mr. Brewster. You'd like to know about the rest of my family? Oh, yes. Only like my distant cousins. Yes, like yes. Oh, well. Well, who would you like to know about first? Uh, Mr. Brewster Hawkes, yeah. Oh, that's the American chappy. Mm, he's strange. I mean... He's strange. He, he, he doesn't ride horses. He doesn't ride horses. He goes about in a car. Goes about I in mean, a car. really, I mean, that's dreadful. It's very strange. And I do believe I was talking to one of the staff the other day. Yeah. And he said that he thinks he has a gun. He thinks room. he has a gun in his room. Gun in his room. Ask him about Phoebe. She's not... I, well, I don't really think she's actually married to him. I mean, this is... No. I know, she, you know, he doesn't don't think, think she's married to him. To anybody because I think he doesn't he think she's married to him. People. I wish he wouldn't keep talking to himself <laughs> like this. I think But, um, yes, and, uh, yes, he's very strange. She's very strange. I don't think they're married. Right, does he... Has he got any idea where Brewster Hawks would be? Do you know anywhere where Brewster Hawks would be at this minute? 
Well, Bruce Lee, he's funny because he just, he likes memorabilia and trophies and things. And he seems to spend all his time sort of dusting the animals in the uh, trophy room. The trophy, the trophy, trophy room. room. Trophy room. He likes dusting the animals. Okay. Always there. Thank him very much and get on your way okay. to the trophy room. Thanks ever so much for your time, but we've got to be off. Right, well, can I talk to my horses now? Yes, okay. Yes. Thanks right. ever so much. Bye. Right. Right. Now, you have a compass. Use your compass. compass. Right. Yeah. Get your compass out and tell them that they need to go east. East. Go east. You're on a path at the moment. Is that yeah. Where going, Emily? And you need to go east. East, we need to go. East. East. Over there. Yeah. Over there. That's where the maze is, isn't it? Okay, we're going. Okay. Watch for the maze. Yeah, just look for that lady. And yeah, there's the. There. I can see the maze. I you think. can see the maze. You can see the maze. Right. Right. Yeah, there's the maze. The maze. Right. Can you see her? No. Tell them to head towards go the, maze. the maze. Go towards Emily. it. Go towards it. No, come on. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. You're tired. Are you at the entrance to the Emily? maze? Right, go to the entrance. Here we are. You're oh, in the maze. Good. <laughs> OK, go on. Look for that woman. Found there she is. So there she is. Go up and show her the well legal done. thing. Oh, you're not those attorneys that are coming to ask us questions and things, are you? Yes. Oh, I see. What's that you've got there? It's an illegal document. So here we are. Ask her if she's noticed anything strange about Phoebe. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I've never met Phoebe yet. No, not yet. No, you haven't met Phoebe. Because I, I don't know her awfully well myself. I only, only actually met her for the first time at dinner um, last night. She's got a terribly funny way of talking, which I'd never come across before. But um, And it's very odd because she's, she's with a rather nice gentleman yeah. who wears rather fancy clothes, and um, she always calls him Boff. But, but she tells me that she's his wife, so it seems odd if, if you're married to we somebody are. that you call them boss, don't you think? <laughs> I don't know. It seems odd to me, anyway. What about Peregrine? Do you know him? Peregrine Taylor. Oh, Perry. I'm, my heart starts to go pitter-patter just at the mention of his name. But um, I'm a little bit peeved, actually, because Perry is here to stay, and uh, I asked him if he'd like a game of tennis, and he said no which was a little upsetting because I'm um, quite, quite keen on Perry and he seems frightfully busy all the time, sort of running around investigating things all over the house. And so I, I know that he's a writer and I expect it's probably something to do with his writing, but, um, but it's a Pardon? shame because I was hoping to see him some more. Well, Perry, as I say, is sort of all over the place and quite difficult. Phoebe, as Phoebe was asking me earlier, earlier today, where, where, the, where the sundial was in the West Garden. So I explained to her where it was. I don't know if she's gone to look for it, for it or not. Say so thank you very much, and we must get a move on now. Right, go. We, we, need go. To go back the, we need to go back the same way we came. Yeah. yeah. Look, in the yard, there's the car. There's the car, OK. Oh, that must be Brewster's car. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, we're now, we're now going to go in. Oh, no, no. Make sure you keep together. Hello, Brewster. Hello, Brewster. Oh, hey, 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 hey. No, no, don't, don't read, read this. Look at these clothes. That's great. You're you English guys. You know how to dress. Yep. This would look great on the golf course. So what do you guys do? You wear your, uh, your gym clothes during the day? Yep. Yeah. Hang on a second. This gives me an idea. Sportswear. You never know. It might catch you on back home. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. No, but so what do you guys do? Okay, As a uh, letter of attorney, us? could you just read yeah, for it? Yeah, 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 okay. Slow down a bit. Let me just, uh, you know, let's see what we got here. Right. Yeah? What's with the helmets? You guys on a spot of, spot of trouble here or what? No. It's a bit of a headache, that's oh, all. Okay, no problem. Calms me down. Yeah, fine, yeah, fine, yeah. You can ask me. Go ahead, shoot. Uh, could you tell us about Patrick, the Honourable Patrick? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you about the guy. Have you seen him? I'm yeah. I'm not talking yeah. a weed. I mean, I'm talking, you know, featherweight. Says he's a he weed, featherweight. He falls down. He falls yeah. down. He's a white don't, wimp. Don't that's what he like says. Huh? You know he doesn't I mean? like him. And I'll tell you something else. You know, my wife Phoebe, he's always yeah. around her, right? Do you know? he, he's always yeah. hanging around and Phoebe. And Patrick's always hanging bit around bit his wife. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, he's got suspicions about Brewster you and Phoebe's wants marriage. Brewster to beat yeah. Patrick well, up, I mean, the really. guy might. Maybe that's why he's trying to move in, yeah. you know? And I mean, Patrick's you know, moving horses, in on Phoebe. You know? Find out if he's really married to Phoebe. Into a horse. Ken, are you really married to Phoebe? It's a bit of a personal question, but are you married to Phoebe? Yeah, I mean, you know, like, yeah. 
What's it to you guys? You know? Yeah. The way you know. Yeah, yeah. he is. That's yeah. what he says. For sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But so, uh, have, have Americans ever heard of wedding rings? You know, well, I don't, uh, you know, I don't normally wear it. You know what oh, I mean? I mean, it oh, yeah. uh, cuts off the circulation, you know? I mean, uh, it's not working out. His son, but... Yeah, I call him Peregrine the Pelican, you know what I'm Peregrine saying? Because he's always flapping off at the mouth. Okay. Books, that's Good another thing. thing. A book. I, I ain't read none of his books. Have you? No. Well, there you go, you know? That's what I'm saying. He's never read one of you his know? books. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Does he hang know on. where we might find Peregrine? Hang on, the guy, just say something. I'm sure the guy's been snooping around my room. He says he's been snooping around his room. Not sure prove about it. it. He can't prove it, but he but, says he uh, you know, things have not really Why would he I snoop know. around in his room? Why would he snoop around your room? Hey, beats me. You make it beats a him. He doesn't know. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like the guy, you know? I mean, Mr. Superiority, he's always at me. Do you know where we could find him? Yeah. Well, one last thing. What about this gun in your bedroom? Hey, guns, look, I'm a peaceful man, all right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I don't, you know. Hey, come on, we're all friends. Now listen, Peregrine, I do know where he is. Yeah. He told me he was in the, uh... Says he's in the... Summer Western. It was something like... Yeah, it said he was in the, uh, the Summer Western maze. He Summer said Western he was the maze in the maze. Was, uh, oh, no. clever enough to be able to figure it out. <laughs> now listen, I'm gonna tell you, it's miles away. Yeah. I got my car parked out front. You guys wanna lift? Yeah, go on, eh? Yeah, I'm... Okay, yeah. fine. Come with me, I'll take you he's, in the car. He's not gonna right. take us in the car. Listen, this is not a bad car. He's gonna take us in the he's car. He's taking him in the car. Or I think yeah, they've got a gun. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Be careful, he could be the time vandal. You guys are gonna like this. There she is. She's a beauty, but she's not a Ford, so what can I say? Anyway, you two uh, with the little hats in the back, give it a big hat, follow me. Right. In you go. Oh. You're going for the ride of your life. Let me have my hat. Uh, All right, Mandy, we're now in the car. Great. Ah. We're now gonna start up. There we go, we put this little thing here. Push her. Start the ignition. Yeah. We are off. We're now gonna go. It's honk the horn. Okay, okay here, we, here we go, Mandy. Hold on to your hats, because this baby can fly. Right, now we're now we're now gonna start coming out of the gate. Right, we're now That's it. We're now coming out of the gate. Now we're turning left, so we're going towards the maze. We're now going towards the maze. Yeah, that's right. This field on the right with the fence. Going, going down the straight road at the minute. Here we come. Yeah, now we're having some fun now. This is cool. Yeah, this is fun. Sadly, that's where time has currently defeated our time busters. The search for the time vandal and the time capsule continues at the same time next week, when we'll bring you the concluding episode of The Strange Legacy of Summer Western Hall. Time.